In this video, I'm going to go over the quiz that you had on linear equations. Um, most, many of you did very well on the quiz, but there are some things that even those of you who scored very well uh, still need to look at and make sure that you understand. In the first problem, you were given two points and you were asked to find the slope of the line that went through those two points. Uh, a majority of you had no difficulty with this. When given two points to find the slope, you take the difference of the y-coordinates divided by the difference of the x-coordinates. And when you have 6 minus the negative 2, that becomes a plus, and you end up with 5 eighths. And that is the slope of the line. If you had done it, subtracted the other way, you would have had um, 4 minus 9 over negative 2 minus 6. That would have given you a negative 5 over a negative 8. And a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So you still would have had 5 eighths, um, no matter which of the two ways you did that. For the second problem, you were given a line and asked to find the slope of the line. So the line that you were given was three times 2y minus 1. That was equal to 5 times 2 minus x. So if you distribute, you end up with 6y minus 3 equals 10 minus 5x. You want the y's on one side and everything else on the other. So if I go ahead and add 3 to both sides, and I'm going to put the x term first, so you have a minus 5x, and when you add 3, 10 plus 3 gives you 13. Now, to get the y totally by itself, all you need to do is divide by the 6. You end up with y equals negative 5, 6, x plus 13 over 6. Your slope is negative 5, 6. In the next problem, you were also given an equation and asked to find the slope. The equation was 7x equals 2. Um, if you look at this, there's no y in the equation. So there's no way you can get y by itself because there is no y. If you wanted to, you could divide by the 7, and that would give you x equals 2 over 7. But either way, what you need to do is recognize that this is a vertical line. Any line that has an equation missing y is a vertical line. The slope of a vertical line is undefined. Um, don't try to tell me that there isn't a slope. I don't know what you mean if you tell me there isn't a slope. The slope is undefined. The reason it's undefined is because if you had two points and you tried to subtract 
like we did in the first two problems, you end up with a zero in the denominator. Division by zero is undefined. So that's what you should give me for the slope. Um, the next problem asked you to write the equation of a line that passed through the point 511 and had a slope equal to negative 3. Now, I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest way to do this. Many of you did it another way. You started by finding what the y-intercept is. And that is an acceptable way to do this. But I really think using the, the point-slope form is much easier. The point-slope form, you're going to use this point, 511, and the slope, and you're going to start by writing an equation. Then all you had to do is put the, the equation that you had in slope-intercept form, which is the form I asked for your answer to be in. So the point-slope form says y minus the y-coordinate, which is 11, equals negative 3 times x minus the x-coordinate, which is 5. To put that into slope-intercept form, distribute the 3 And then add 11 to both sides, and you get y equals negative 3x plus 26. And that is um, the answer to that problem. You could have done it by finding b first and then putting it in slope-intercept form, but I think it's easier just to start with an equation and then simplify the equation. The last problem was to show me if you knew how to find the slope of a perpendicular line. Some of you showed me that you did not know how to do this, so please pay attention. If you're given an equation of a line, That's the equation of the line that you were given. The first thing you need to do is find the slope of that line. And to find the slope of this line, you're going to put it in slope-intercept form, which means solve for y. So if I solve this for y, the first thing I'm going to do is add x to both sides. And then I'm going to divide by 2. That gives me y equals, and it's probably better to write that as 1 half x, that's the same as x over 2, plus 3 halves. Now, this line has a slope equal to 1 half. However, that's not the answer to what I asked for. I asked for the slope of the line perpendicular. If lines are parallel, they have equal slopes. However, I asked for a line perpendicular. The line perpendicular to this one is going to have the opposite sign, so it's going to be negative. And it's the reciprocal, or you flip the fraction upside down, and you're going to get 2. Um, you could write it as 2 over 1, but 2 over 1 is the same as 2. So just writing it as negative 2. That's the answer that I was looking for. And those are the five questions that were on that quiz. If you have any further questions on working with linear equations, please come to my virtual office hours and ask. 
or send me an email. Um, it is very important you can work with linear functions. That's why I gave you this quiz. There will be no quiz this coming week. There is no class the next two days. Uh, Monday the 12th and Tuesday the 13th is fall break. So um, classes begin up again on Wednesday which means I could give you a quiz on Wednesday, but I decided because of the break, I would give you no quiz this week. 